YouTube, we're back with a new MX Bikes video, and this is highly anticipated, highly overanalyzed settings. To be honest, it's all personal preference. However, these are my settings. Try it out. They probably suck. Don't ask Nub for them, and they're not the same as Nub. Maybe they are, but don't say that. All right, here we go. So I get this asked a lot in TikToks. I get this asked a lot in Twitch streams. What are my settings? What are my graphic settings? What is the suspension settings that I'm using? Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to answer all of that. So let's jump right into it. So I'm on the main screen here. Let's go to settings. Uh, we're on the input tab one. Uh, so first off, I'm not going to go dive into it. Uh, I'm just going to lay. I, be, I feel like there's a lot of videos out there with different settings. A lot of pro players have it as well. We are pro. So yeah, so this is my pro settings. Uh, but the input, so for direct lean, we got 48. We got combined brakes on with 10 and 60. Uh, my lean is at, my dead zone is extremely high because my controller's ass. So it's at 10%. Uh, my linearity is at 160. I have smooth on uh, for lean. And I have it at 10, 10, 88.5. Um, and then for my throttle, I have zero dead zone, 100 linearity, no smooth, and gain at 100 or brakes very similar i have 0 100 the for the smooth i have 30 10 and 87.1 i feel like this actually helps a lot um instead of just coming directly to a stop it helps you just like slow down a little bit easier um that's also rear brake i have smooth with 30 10 and 100 uh with zero deady and uh 100 linearity uh clutch I, i'm honestly don't know why this is at 50 percent i mean clutch i barely use it but we got 0, 100, 55, and 100. I might change this up. I might change this up and just go back to... Uh, I guess you can't do smooth. I don't know why I can't unclick smooth. I might do 100 there. I don't know. I might play with that one. Um, but that's clutch. Rider, front back lean. I have 10% dead zone. Like I said, my controller's ass. I have linearity at 100. I have no smooth. And I have 0, 0, 100. Uh, left, right. Similar concept. 10, 100, 0, 0, 100. Um, and so that is my event. That's my input one right here tab. Uh, I think, I think the controls is just personal preference, to be honest. Like my lean, I use my left stick on my controller. My rider front back is on my right stick up and down, right, left. The lean is your bike lean, right? So I use that with my left, my left stick, uh, throttle, right trigger, left trigger, rear brake is the X button. Um, I don't really use that per se. I use the bumper which is why I use combined brakes. So um, so that's the input one. Input two, kind of just all personal preference here, to be honest. Um, I use a Xbox Elite controller. So my shift up and down is on my paddles. So I use Y and A for that. Um, and then obviously control starters. This is all just personal preference stuff. Um, one thing I would say is um, tear off. I use left D-pad. So that's just kind of familiar with my left D-pad. I just take my left stick off the thumb pad and I just click the left D-pad for tear offs. Um, input three, replay system. Doesn't mean shit. Uh, graphics. Um, this all kind of depends on your computer and your monitors. Um, but for me, I run 1920 by 1080, uh, 32 bits, 144 hertz. Uh, my anti aliasing is on 16X. I have high 16. Uh, no dynamic shadows, no reflections. I do have shaders on. You can turn shaders off. It might help with your PC performance. Um, I have draw distance at high and model dis model detail at high. Um, I would turn off 3D grass. It would just help. If you want a better picture, better quality of the track, you can turn 3D grass on. Some of the tracks actually have like some great quality. So you might want to turn that on just for like make a video or something. It might help with the video and stuff like that for quality purposes. But um, so that's my graphics miscellaneous um i use 16 percent volume because this shit is loud as hell if you have it 100 uh 100 interface 15 percent music um i think that's just mostly in game when if there's like volume inside the game um for units i use metric i don't even use us for some reason uh I just stuck with metric since the beginning of the game um i use obviously date format doesn't really matter uh bandwidth make sure you turn that very high so that way a lot of people can join your lobbies um, and then simulation. I think this is another big one. Field of view. I use 118. I used to use 130. But screw that. I use 118. Uh, tilt at 15 and pitch 35. Uh, I used to do corner anticipation, but I actually turned that off. Um, it's kind of beneficial, but kind of not beneficial. 
kind of it's just like i said earlier personal preference uh but i use no corner anticipation um i use show hud and then i also use show rider sand uh for riding aids i use automatic clutch and automatic tire change uh those are the only two things i use for aids um you could use brake help you could use lean help but i don't use any of that um to be honest um i just started a long time ago i did uh, i turned off all of them besides the two that i have and i just stuck with it and i try to get better at it so uh these are my settings uh let's jump into the suspension settings in game okay so we're in game and we actually just switched over to the kawasaki the last two weeks um the honda just wasn't it wasn't working man it wasn't working on the aerial tracks i knew from the very beginning it wasn't working i tried the yamaha first uh i felt pretty good on that made the first round of pdmx on the yamaha switched back to the honda because we made graphics for the honda specifically for me um however it just wasn't cutting it so i switched over to the kawasaki um and these are my suspension settings for the kawasaki um when you rock in a 30 minute moto uh like i said i use metric so when i'm rocking a 30 minute moto this goes up to like 6 6.2 um kind of depends on for the tires it kind of depends on which track you're rocking if it's like a like a sand track like southwick um i think mid soft actually works better than 90 90 however if you're on like red bud i'd rock like a 90 90 120 um a little bit you can even rock the 110 they're pretty good as well um i think the 120 just gives you a little bit better feel on the kawasaki uh, but I think the 110 works a little bit better on the Honda. So with that being said, with the pressure, I like 1, 1.05 on the rear. Um, I didn't really change the brakes. I have in the past, to be honest, but I didn't really change it on the Kawasaki. Uh, you could go up to like 20, uh, but I'm just keeping it stock. Uh, for suspension, for my front suspension, um, I can show you compared to default. It's it's very stock. I'm not going to lie. It's very, very stock. Um, big shout out to Ryder for this, actually, because... I, I don't have a Kawasaki setup, right? Uh, I've been rocking a Honda for goddamn two years. So when I switched over to Kawasaki, I had to figure out what kind of setup I wanted to rock. Um, shout out to Ryder. He posted his video and I went through and I kind of basically just copied it. I'm not going to lie. We copied the little suspension settings here um, and I think it works great. Uh, obviously, I'm not as fast as Ryder. However, and he probably changed this since the new tires came out as well. But I feel great on the suspension settings like this, um, which is kind of very similar to stock. However, it just feels pretty good on the Kawasaki. Uh, the Honda, I would not do this on the Honda. It feels way different. Um, so big shout to Ryder for that. Drivetrain, 1350. I'm rocking a stock. Just going to be honest. Um, and then for the geometry, fork offset, 23. I mean, look, it's all stock. It's literally stock besides mapping and swing arm. I think swing arm is very key in outdoors. You can rock one swing arm in supercross but for outdoors definitely do two um and then yeah that's honestly my suspension so these are my settings i kind of hope that answers some of the questions you guys had about it uh let me know if you guys use this in the comments below uh big shout out to Ryder for the suspension settings his uh, channel will be down in the description check it out uh, he makes some great content um and i'm actually thinking about making a new series for mx bikes uh trying to figure out which 450 is the best one to choose from I know there's already like the best 450, uh, either like the Husky or the KTM, but I kind of want to make a series and kind of go through each one. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that in the comments below. Um, and yeah, so I hope this answers some of the questions you guys had. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you in any way possible, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button on. And until next time, guys, much love.